Hello, my people. Hello. Welcome to Dora Vlog. Once again, on this channel, I do nothing but trying to empower you with information that will help you to succeed. Yes, especially in your dream of migrating to Canada or any other company, country. All right. So in this video, I am so excited, guys. I am so excited because I know I have a lot of people who are not um, fortunate enough to have enough money to support themselves like the proof of form or who are not willing to write IELTS. I also know that I have a lot of people who are somehow not so lucky to have degree, university degree certificate. So when you talk about going to Canada, these people always see themselves as, mm, our own. we are not, we, we, oh, I wish, oh, I wish I was a graduate. I wish I have money and all that. Or more, if you're in that category, ah, I'm bringing good news your way just right now. All you have to do for me is to try and stay till the end of this video because information I'll be dishing out Hey, you can't afford it. Meanwhile, if you also have someone, okay, you know, in this life, it's good to help people. If you have someone who may be in this category and you also like to share this video with that person, call that person and educate the, the, the person so that he or she can benefit. Who knows tomorrow? Like I always say, who knows tomorrow? You never can tell. So my people, oh, it's about coming to Canada without writing IELTS without having proof of fund and most importantly relocating with your family members as in all your family members you're going to go with them hey oh my tell me tell me more this is so interesting uh -uh. where have we been all this while that we are not aware of this program my dear people it's all about the program they call the employer driven migration program yes launched by new brunswick in canada new brunswick is one of the provinces um in canada and right now they have declared what i will call a state of emergency in certain areas to fill the job vacancies there in certain areas they are short of human resources yes oh my people mm. and to think of these areas are those areas that people neglect a lot. Like these days, the youth, if you ask anybody, what do you want to study in school? They will tell you they want to study medicine, want to study pharmacy, lawyer, mass communication. There are these certain areas that people run away from. <laughs> and that is almost the root now. These career, these jobs are now the ones that can bring you to Canada without degree certificates, without writing IELTS, with your family members, and without your spending anything. You heard me right. I'm going to show you everything. We'll visit their website. We'll visit the new website of New Brunswick, and we're going to see everything for ourselves. But first of all, I want you to ask you, have you subscribed to this channel? What are you waiting for now? All this information I'm bringing your way free of charge. Eh? Why not just click on that subscribe button so that you will not miss anyone or you never can tell. Yes. So thank you so much and drop your like also. Click on that like button so that uh, YouTube will recommend this video. If this video is, this content is useful to you, it can also be useful to anybody. Let, don't let us be stingy. So when you like this video, YouTube will recommend it to people so they also come and they watch. All right, no, so now, guy, now guys, I'm going to be mentioning these, the companies that are, that have been assigned to carry out this task for New Brunswick. The companies that actually, they are the ones employing. They are employing massively. Some of them even have job vacancies of up to or above 600 at a time. The first company, and this one is, uh, um, okay, I'll just be mentioning them, not as in one by one. Let me just mention them one by one for you. The first company I mentioned is Imperial Manufacturing. Just Google them. You can just type any of these companies I'm calling. You can write them down and just type their name on Google. 
and you'll see for yourself imperial manufacturing is into construction okay it's into air conditioning metal heating plastic and a whole lot of other things so if you know that you have your career you have skills or you have this little little job experiences like technicians and all that you can apply who knows even you as a car and uh, air condition technician you can apply very good okay so that's it the second company is cook aquaculture yes cook aquaculture is a marine firm they are into marine farming seafood production farming and all that hey i have some people i know that this will benefit if you have studied marine engineering or all those um technical metallurgical and all that so if you're into marine if you have experience like i said these jobs they are not asking for education they're just asking that you can do it so if you know if you have um, experience with fishing and swimming i think you can give it a try out all right yes the third company is jd ivins yes jd ivins limited is a very well established company that is into fabrication they're into agriculture they're into logistics they even have hotels so you can see that many people can fit into this company and they are saying that they need company they need people they need people so you can just check check them out on their website jd ivins limited another company is um group savoir yes group savoir they are into hardwood production <laughs> in my previous video i mentioned about the jobs that you can do in canada instead of waiting for a white collar job i mentioned carpentry right good so you can see that if you have this skill if you have been into woodwork production timber and all that this is what this company is all about this uh, group savoir that's what they are into so if you have any knowledge of wood production hardwood production you can apply whatever experience you've had whether you've done cutting of wood whether you've done carpentry whether you've done uh, sculpture and all that you can just give it a try -up. they are in their need of human resources you know these days what people do um, most people it's not it's not only here it's everywhere people tend to study courses like healthcare management pharmacy medicine nursing and people are neglecting this area of agriculture and that is why they are having lapses in human resources okay and so if you are fortunate to be one of those people perhaps you went to into this area because you know you couldn't get any other job or you were not fortunate to study the course your dream course at the university and you ventured into this area you can see that the lord god has buttered your bread quickly go to their website okay i'm also going to help you go to the screen to see how you can apply after i've mentioned the companies so the i mentioned the fifth the fourth company right and the fifth one is the group west co yes Group Wesco, they are into livestock. They are into livestock, meat production, poultry, uh, chicken production, egg production, and all that. Hmm. See, you see your life. If you have experience in poultry rearing, you have been into meat production, you have sold, you know, those little experiences. So, like, I, I want to hammer that these companies are not looking for those who are experts. They are looking for people that have basic skills. I'm going to tell you. I'll give you more information. So, um, you can apply to this company. I just mentioned Group Wesco, right? Yes, the next company is the McKen. Yes, McKen Food. McKen Food Limited. They are into potato farming. They are into frozen food and all that. You can visit their website. Potato farming, frozen food. Hmm. My people. So, let me give you the details of... What you will benefit from this company from this company bringing you to canada what you are going to bring benefit first of all you must know that this company you are going to stay in there um in the in the province that's new brunswick they are the people that are actually into the, so you are going to be ready to stay there all right now the first benefit 
if you are coming to Canada through this uh, route, is that you're going to have your settlement benefit. What is settlement benefit? The settlement benefit means that once you are employed, <laughs> once you submit your application letter, and this employer finds you worthy, and say, oh, this person, we can take this person. He will be the one in charge of your flight ticket. He will be the one to make arrangements for accommodation for you in Canada. He will be the one to ensure that is one settlement, to settle you very well in Canada. You land at the airport. Somebody is coming to pick you and take you to your accommodation already sorted out. See me now. I've been here since over two weeks looking for accommodation. This one from the airport, they don't already arrange accommodation for you. You just go there JJJ, and settle down. The second benefit is they're going to support you with language. Um, yes, with your language. If you don't know how to speak English, I said, this company, they are not looking for experts. So you don't know how to speak big grammar. You don't know how to speak English very well. No problem. Because I told you, these are things that you can do with hand. You don't know how to speak English. Oh, no problem. This company will send you to language school until you go to and learn English very well. Or if it's French you're interested in, you can learn French very well. After which, you can now do what? Apply um, and write IELTS. It's a company that we pay. They will give you time as you are working for them to attend your language school. Is this not too much? Hey, this is like a dream, but it is real. I'm going to lead you to the website, okay? The New Brunswick website, you will see for yourself. The third benefit is job training. I don't know who will see this and not go for it. If you are still watching this video and after you, after watching this video and you can do all of this and your life still remains the same, one more you need deliverance. I say job training. They are not looking for experts. Just your basic skills. And then they will train you. They will be training you on the job. The only thing you need to do is to be someone that is teachable. You are, late, you are you always someone that is teachable, someone that is ready to learn. Some people are not ready to learn. The little thing they know, they will just stay there. Now, if you are in that kind of person, that kind of person, you may be in trouble. But if you are someone that you are ready to learn on the job, they tell you, oh, this thing like this, do it like this, you learn fast, fast. You can see they are ready to train you. So, what are other benefits is that your spouse if you're a man your 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 wife will now have work permits what they call open work permit open work permit is that your wife your spouse can now look for another job of her choice you know you that they brought you'll be ob obliged to work for them right full time but now your spouse is entitled to look for any other job of her choice and be working Open work permit, that's what they call it. She doesn't need to have gotten the job before going to Canada. No, just you. And the other, the last but not the least, is education support. Like I said, they're not looking for experts. They're just looking for people that are ready to work for them and ready to be taught. So while you are working, they can send you to school. You, you see, and you, and you, uh, um, you know, obtain the education, you continue to further your studies, continue to, you know, um, get more education. You can even develop yourself and become experts in that area. You can develop yourself, do degree program and all that if you are ready. The most important thing about this thing is that there is no age limit. Hey, what are you waiting for? There is no age limit. So if you are still there complaining, complaining that, oh, this Canada that everybody is going, if not that because I don't have money, if not because I'm from what is helping you now is to take this bold step. So how do you go about it? First of all, like I said, I've mentioned all the companies that have been designated to carry out this important task for New Brunswick. I've mentioned them. The next thing is for you to go to their website one by one. That, that is you. Nobody will do it for you. One by one. When you go to their website, you click on the, on the top. I think on the top or down the, 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 the bottom page or the topmost, you will see career. Search for career and you now see job openings that are available. You check the one that you can do and click on it and apply. 
But before you apply, you have to go and, you know, make your CV to be uh, Canada standard. You can look for how to make your CV to be Canada standard. If you if you don't know how to do it, you can just check on Google. There's nothing that Google cannot help you to do. So, um, get your CV to be Canada standard and write a cover letter. Check out how to write a cover letter. It is there on Google. Everything is on Google. Check out how to write a cover letter that will suit the job that you are applying for. Okay? Once you are done, this is the only thing you have to do. Once you are done with that, you apply. You fill the form. Application is by filling form there. You fill the form, upload the CV, upload cover letter, and that's all. You wait for them to contact you. Hey, hey. Is that not interesting? So when they contact you now, the next thing you will do, when they contact you and they have given you employment letter, hmm, you have the employment to say you have been employed. You now use that employment letter to go and apply for work permits on the Canadian website, the IRCC website. You go there and apply. Okay? Then when you have applied, from there, every other thing, this company is taking care of it. We can visit their website, okay? Let's go to the screen now to show you everything so you know that what I'm telling you is pure. It is true. It is real. This program has been on since November 2022. And many people do not know about it. People are just saying, going to Canada, study, go to study in Canada, go to PR. This is the shortest way. It's just that it is limited to this marginalized profession, this agriculture. You know, a lot of people are running away from uh, studying agriculture in school. Mm -hmm. Now you see. Now you see. Now you see. All right. So, my dear people, let's go to the screen now. And from there, I'll say bye-bye. If you haven't subscribed to this website, can't you see that I'm bringing you important news, useful news, relevant information that will help, that can change your life? Yes. So, please subscribe to this channel and also share this video. Don't be stingy. Share it. Thank you so much. I'll see you again in my next video. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the screen. Mm -hmm. This is, you can see this, skilled worker applicants with employer support, right? Good. New Brunswick skilled worker applicants with employer support is one of the streams of the New Brunswick Provincial Nominee Program. A provincial nominee program, PNP, operated by the province of New Brunswick. This stream is designated to target high-skilled foreign workers with a valid job offer from a new Brunswick. Do you get that? Good. Valid job offer. So you need to get a job. Now let's go on. It says, candidates who are successfully nominated through the new Brunswick skilled worker applicants with employer support stream, employer support will be automatically forwarded to the IRCC. That means you don't have to be the one to be evaluated for Canadian permanent residence. The province of New Brunswick regularly organizes events overseas for foreign nationals who wish to immigrate to Canada. So they go out there by themselves sourcing for foreign nationals. Please refer to our schedule of upcoming New Brunswick information sessions and job offers so you can come to this website you can see it here okay copy it and you can click on this those who are successful through these information sessions will be eligible so when they organize these programs you can go here to see upcoming information sessions and job offers okay then you'll be eligible to immigrate to canada through the new brunswick pnp or the Atlantic Immigration Program. So what if we just click it? Click it. I'm not going to do that for you because this video is getting longer. So what are the requirements? Basic entry profile. No, you don't need to have an entry profile with, with the Canadian um, Embassy. Connection to province. You don't need to have a connection. You don't need to have a brother or a sister that is there. All you need to have is job offer. So when you go there and scout for these jobs and get an offer, language proficiency, CLB4, is one of the lowest you can get. What of level of education? High school. High school means secondary school. And I'm telling you, this is just high school. Like, so if you're someone who you are able to manage and finish your secondary school, but even if you did not finish, you can still give it a try. 
work experience just related to job offer. Like I explained in that video, if you have been into woodwork and all that, if you have been into poultry, who knows? Anything, somehow it's got related to that offer. Investment requirements, none. You don't need to have money to invest anything. All they need is that you can do something for them. All right? So this is, um, or you can read down work experience. The more interesting thing here is about age. Candidates must be between 19 and 55 years old on the day. It means, guys, a lot of people out there will tell you because, ah, I'm no more 35. Age is not on my side. I'm no more. Look at it. It's even 55. Oh, guys, many people out there will be qualified for this. So why won't you share this video? Why won't you? Candidates must store at least 60 points out of 100 on the new Brunswick Skilled Worker Applicants point assessment all this point assessment you see when you go down you see age we give you one um yes. look at the factors we need to they used to access age 10 so if you are age within the age range you get 10 points language you have that education 20 so you can go down and have all this and at the end of the day you have your 60 points all right so guys, this is what I am saying. It is real. It is not scam. It is not fake. All you need to do is to sit down and click and click and click. And then something will come out of it. Okay? So thank you so much for joining me on this channel again. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Also like this video. Ask your questions in the comment section. And I'll try as much as possible to get more information your way. Thank you so much. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.